the issue that I was having is when I tried to press them in the bath bomb press, they would crack. They wouldn't even form together. It was really frustrating. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another vlog. We have a really jam-packed day today, and I thought it'd be a good day to vlog because I wanted to talk about a few things that I've been going through as a business, and today is a good day to talk about it. So on our plate today, we have lotion that I gotta make. I gotta make bath bombs. I gotta make shampoo today. Dempsey is excited about me making shampoo. You need to stop being so excited and calm down. So the reason why I thought it'd be a good day to vlog because I wanted to talk about my recent bath bomb struggles that I've been having. And it's so interesting because I have talked about the importance of humidity and how weather impacts bath bombs and all of that. But I never really, I guess I never really thought it would be this difficult for me to make bath bombs once the weather changed like this. It's so interesting. And I wonder if because back in the spring I changed things a little bit to compensate for the high humidity in the air and now that it's dry I need to bump it back down. I don't know. I've just been going back and forth. But I will talk with you today about how I was able to fix that and overcome that. So stay tuned for that. Just a lot of great tips and tricks in this video for you today. If you're new here, hello, my name is Jerrica. I am the owner and creator of Quench. And on this channel, I talk all about my soap and bath bomb business. And if that's something that you are interested in, maybe in 2021, it's one of your resolutions to start a business where you earn something on the side or you wanna switch careers and try doing this for a living. This is the channel for you because I have gone through all of that and the great thing is I love talking about it. If that's your thing, please subscribe. I just want to talk a little bit about this beautiful flower arrangement that we got from one of our friends. Whenever they visit, they always give us flowers and I love it so much because I'm a huge plant person. They actually gave us this little plant too back in, I think it was the summertime, late summer? I don't even remember, but it's still, it's still growing strong. Look at it. I'm obsessed with plants. I tend to kill them, but this type of plant, is super resilient. I forget what it's called. It's one of those ones that grow more leaves over time and they're super resilient and they show you when they don't have enough water because they start to wilt. So these are great starter plants. And look how cute that is. The Zimmermans. What are you up to today? What are you doing? What are you doing? Packaging up this lavender set. Got our soap, sugar scrub, and body oil in there. Awesome. And this is going to Sudbury, Ontario. Sweet. My hair is crazy. The online orders have died down, which is such a good thing because it was honestly causing us a lot of stress. We need to be better prepared next year, Kale. We were just scrambling way too much this year. But yeah, we will be more prepared next year for sure. But now that it's died down, we can collect ourselves and stop rushing to get everything out the door. We can finally take a deep breath, which is a good thing. And now that that is dying down. We're actually getting a few wholesale orders coming in, which is awesome because January is slow for online orders. So you can see how there's an ebb and flow with where our income is coming in. And that is so important when you're starting a business because you don't wanna rely on one source of income. And that's why we do the wholesale customers because it's a nice little bit of income. However, I don't know how many more new wholesale customers we wanna be taking on in 2021 because it's a lot of work and the level that we're at is good. I think the people that we currently sell to, the, our current wholesale customers, we love and we're gonna keep, but I don't know about us obtaining any new ones. That's an example of some of the decisions that we've been forced to make now that we've entered this chapter of our business. So here are some bath bombs that I've recently made and I almost had a bath bomb crisis. I could not get these to stick together. It was pretty upsetting because when you think you're an expert on something and you think you can do something with your eyes closed and then you do it and it doesn't work, it's so jarring and 100% so when it's your career and this is what your income depends on. So I'm really glad that I figured it out and these bath bombs look pretty good. And now with the online orders calming down, I really hope I will get a chance to finally clean this house. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been shooting really tightly and not really showing you the background of everything because it's such a mess. Probably another reason why I've been having a lot of anxiety about things lately because the house has just been upside down. It's really true what they say about having a clean house and having a clean mind. At least for me, I really like having things clean. So hopefully I'll get a chance to tidy things up and get things back to where they once were because we have not been doing that.
So we pour the lotion and that is solidifying right now. And I wanted to give you guys a bit of an update because I mentioned I was gonna try to tidy up a little bit around here. Oh, it's really bright. I mentioned that we were tidying up around here and this is what we did. I don't know if you guys remember what was here before, but it was our computer area. We decided to move the computer area into the living room. It's over there now. And we're gonna use this corner as a packaging fulfillment corner area. Is that, am I using the right words? I would say, yeah. 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 That is nice and I feel great about that. Feel really good about that area too, because we're facing a window now and it's gonna be nice and airy. Kale's over here in our new desk area and you're gonna be printing some labels, yeah, right? Printing some labels for some of these small ones we have. When we make a batch, sometimes we don't have enough for a full jar, so we make these small ones, but we don't have labels for these small ones here, so it's yeah. like, it'll be a lot, it'll be some work with Photoshop right here. Yep. Making labels for the small ones. And we decided for this year to keep it simple and we have a tree out in the sunroom instead of having the tree inside because there's a snow space. And yeah, things are, I would say our house is getting back to normal. It was a big mess. We swept the floors and everything is starting to look like it could be manageable again. <laughs> so I was going to make bath bombs today, but we realized that we don't really need any new bath bombs. I gotta make shampoo bars, so instead I'm just gonna focus on making shampoo bars. But I did wanna talk to you guys real quick about making bath bombs when the weather suddenly shifts. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would know that I have been struggling with forming these bath bombs. The issue that I was having is when I tried to press them in the bath bomb press, they would crack. They wouldn't even form together. It was really frustrating, but I've solved that by doing two things. I added a little bit more oil to my recipe. My recipe currently uses about nine grams of hemp seed oil in the mix. I've bumped that up to 11. And I've also packed a little bit more into the molds. As long as I'm able to form them in the first place, that's my first priority. And I think they'll still float, but they formed pretty good and I'm happy about that because I have wholesale orders to fulfill and they want bath bombs. I need to be able to make bath bombs in this weather. It's definitely scary when something that your income relies on isn't working out but that's why it's important not to give up and to actively troubleshoot instead of getting frustrated, even though I was a little frustrated. <laughs> So I'm about to make some shampoo bars and the main ingredient in my shampoo bars is sodium cockle isothionate, short form of that is SCI. And I got a question once asking why I don't buy the powdered version. The reason I don't is because it's always sold out. <laughs> Every time I need more SCI and I look online, it's never available. Trust me, if I could get my hands on some, I would. Even though SCI is more expensive in the powdered form. Right now, this is the noodle form of it. Even though the powdered form is slightly more expensive, it saves so much time because you don't have to grind them. I really don't like grinding them. A lot of it gets thrown up into the air when you do it and makes you sneeze, makes you cough, and it's not, not a good time. So if I could get it already in powder form, I would love that, but unfortunately, I've had to just buy it in these thin noodle forms. I've had it in flake form too. That is also not fun. If I see the powdered SCI available next time I need some more, I would definitely 100% get it. <laughs>
so the shampoo bars are melting right now. Kayla's listening to a game in the kitchen and I wanted to quickly show you guys what I got. This is my new toy and I got it from Costco. This is the Shark Steam Mop. And the reason why I got that is because we have a mop, but it just seems so time consuming. You know, the whole process of mopping just seems like a lot and I end up just not doing it because I get overwhelmed. <laughs> so I figured I would get a steam mop because floors need to be cleaned and I need to make it easier on myself or else I just won't do it. I thought I would include this into the vlog because when you work from home, you really want to have a clean house and a clean house equals a clean mind. <laughs> Is that how it goes? Or a tidy, a tidy house equals a tidy mind. There you go. I'm a little tired. <laughs> okay. So I have all the pieces here. Seems pretty straightforward. That is the handle. Here's the main body. And that's the cord. And this is the mop piece. Let's put this together. So I put it together. It's pretty easy. The handle went into here, and then this clicked into here, and now I just have to fill this up. Oh, I just have to fill this part up with water, and they even give you a handy little water dispenser thing, which is super cool. I like that a lot. Put water in there, and you should be good to go. Also, I picked this out from Costco because these mop pads, you can just take them off and wash them, and they're reusable, so it's very eco-friendly. Wow. Is that a lot nicer than uh, yes. hand, hand bombing it? It's working so good. It smells good too. It's just water. I didn't put any detergent in it. it smells clean. But, but not like chemicals. But I don't have to get on my hands and knees and stuff. It just cleans it. Wow. Yeah. This might even encourage me to clean more often. <laughs> okay, I just mopped these floors and oh my god, I am so impressed with this thing. Wow, wow, that made mopping so much easier, mindless, and I don't feel tired, and there's no bucket to empty afterwards. Just throw that thing into the washer and we are good to go. So the two shampoo batches, green one is rosemary mint and the blue one is our Georgian Bay ocean scented shampoo and you can see the differences between the two when it's first mixed together and after I've zapped it in the microwave so I get this creamy consistency and I should be able to put this in and get it to melt down just like this guy but my microwave died. It always does this. It's a super old microwave and I can only use it for about 30 second blasts before it dies on me. It'll come back in about 15 minutes or so, but super inconvenient. I should really buy a new microwave, but I'm, I will keep using this guy until he dies. Okay, so I have a comment and this is from, sorry, I almost dropped my phone. Oh, I'm looking kind of messy. So I grabbed a comment and this is from Chantelle Ford and she says, just a quick question, where did you purchase your molds when you were hand pressing? I'm working up to a press, just not there yet. I think it's, she's talking about my bath bomb molds. Before I got the bath bomb press, I was hand pressing them and what I was using were these stainless steel molds. I think I have a video from way back when I was me making my great bath bomb videos and I was hand pressing them and using right here, these are the molds she is talking about. These are the ones I was using and I still use them when it's an emergency situation and my bath bomb press isn't pressing the bath bombs properly, which happened to me a couple days ago actually. But yeah, these molds I get from Windy Point. And I get a lot of my supplies from Windy Point because they are actually really, really great suppliers. I had a package that was 
really, really delayed, and they actually called me and told me that they were going to resend it through a different carrier because they were worried that Canada Post wasn't going to send it to me, which is awesome. I was perfectly happy to wait it out knowing myself as someone who ships things how crazy everything is right now when it comes to shipping things and by the way if you have ordered from my shop <laughs> and i'm shipping something to you please be patient usps is so crazy and backlog right now and same with canada post and this is why i try to get the packages out the doors as fast as possible because i know that once it's out the door i have zero control over how quick it gets to you guys but i do have every package tracked and that's the best i can do <sighs> I'm really hoping that packages don't get lost, but you never know. You never know. If it happens, it happens. But anyways, that was the comment of the day from the previous video. Thank you, Chantel, for asking that question. And I actually did also answer that down in the comments for that video. So if you wanted to check out that comment, you can do that. And that's it for today's vlog. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Keep shining, keep evolving, keep being awesome. Bye, guys.